This is a frightening scene that really happened at sea. A fisherman's yellowfin tuna was mopped by sharks when he was pulled into the boat. All that was left was a mutilated carcass. A fish worth thousands of dollars is now worthless. The captain, in a fit of pique, kills a skipjack tuna and cut the flesh into small pieces and threw it into the sea. In order to attract the sharks quickly, the captain began to shake his rod, but not for long. There was a violent reaction from underwater. A fish is biting, but from the strength of the rod, the bite is not a shark, so the captain hurriedly lost the reel, frantically retrieved the fishing line, but what he did not expect, a shark jumped out of the water. It's obvious, it was trying to eat the big fish on the hook. The captain pulled the big fish up on deck. Take a closer look, a bonito weighing about 15 pounds. No wonder it was targeted by a shark. The shark is circling the boat. The captain casts his rod into the sea again. This time, he uses a metal fake bait to attract the shark. He had to keep shaking the rod. The fish are biting again under the water. The strength of the captain can be seen. It's still not a shark. He's reeling in and out of the line. He's trying to exhaust the big fish underwater. Within a few minutes, a bonito is once again pulled out of the water. In full view of the sharks, the captain is very happy to catch a bonito of this size. This time he's targeting the shark that stole his prey. He takes out a hook the size of his hand. With a knife, he cuts open the body of the bonito and hung it on the hook because only a bait with a strong smell of blood will attract the shark to bite quickly. Sure enough, just as the bait hit the water, a shark follows, and quickly attacked the bonito. The captain lifts the bait at the right moment, and grabbed the shark's dorsal half. It's not a big shark. The captain tries to pull it onto the deck, but the shark struggles too much. It's back out to sea with a tail swing, but the shark turns around again. It still wants to eat the bait. When he jumps out of the water, the captain catches the shark by the fin, but he's struggling too hard. The shark escapes with the bait. The boat has run out of bait. The captain took out the only small fish he had left. He threw them all into the sea to make a nest. There are still two huge sharks in the the sea. They were circling the boat. The captain threw the fake bait to the sharks, but to his disappointment, this time it's not a shark that bites. Instead, it's a skipjack tuna. It's a big one. So the captain switches to a giant fishing rod and casts a whole live fish into the sea. As the reel starts to spin, there's a good chance it's a shark underwater. The captain lets the line out over 100 meters to prevent the shark from pulling him off the boat. He rushes to put on his protective gear. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He locks up the reel, and he starts to fight the shark. The two sides are tugging and pulling. The boat drifts a few dozen meters. The cameraman starts the boat in a hurry, trying to drag the shark with the power of the engine. At this point, the captain also realized it's going to be a long fight. He puts on his gloves and starts pulling on the line with his bare hands. As the captain retracts the line, a huge shark, almost four meters long, it's finally pulled out of the water. The shark is now exhausted. Even when the captain grabbed him by the tail, he doesn't even try to resist. There is no doubt. This is the same shark that attacked the tuna, the captain said. If sharks are allowed to be caught here, he would have cut off off his fins and make soup at home. In the end, the captain let the shark go, and that was the end of the fishing trip for the day.